Okay, let's get started uh, by clicking this shelf button to boot MG Pico Studio in designer mode. Um, I have already opened these two Pico files and we just quickly go over these uh, UI things. First, uh, this is the menu bar, a lot of features be available here. And this is the toolbar. And the first icon here is just to minimize the whole picker button into these small windows. Click this icon again to restore to normal mode. And these are several tools we use during the designing phase. So uh, each tool just define a certain rules of um, mouse interaction. So uh, we won't bother with all these tools. We will introduce them one by one in future tutorials. And this is a toggle for this 3D view. Um, and we have this uh, find and search dialog. And we will cover all these tools in future tutorials. And this area is the area that shows the picker file. So you can just uh, use this generic edit tool and just pick some items here. And suddenly uh, the attribute editor show a lot of widgets where you can tweak some uh, parameters and attributes uh, in it. Um, this is our attribute editor and we got a menu editor. If you got some menu designed uh, here, you can uh, edit them. So the basic workflow uh, regarding of the designing of the picker is just using these tools and create some picker buttons and select them and tweak the parameters here and keep this uh, process going on and on and you finally end up with this picker file. So let's check out how to manipulate this picker view. It's put in like Maya. Uh, you can just use the Alt and the uh, right mouse button to zoom in or out. And use the Alt and double click using the right mouse button to reset the zoom. Um, also, you can use the middle mouse button to pan it. And you can just use Control and Alt hotkey and frame the rectangle to zoom out that area. And just like Maya, if you select any picker button here and press the F hotkey, it will zoom out to show that picker button. And if you deselect all and use the hotkey F, it will zoom out to show all the picker contents. So you can just use Alt hotkey and right mouse button to double click to reset to the default display size. You can also work on two picker files simultaneously. So that means you can just switch to this layout button, maybe to two columns. So in that way, you can drag this uh, picker tab to this area. So that way, you can work on two picker files simultaneously. Okay. And uh, there are a whole bunch of other layout options here. You just try out, and you know what does it mean. So let's create one picker file for demonstration purpose. And we just re back, revert it back to single view. And uh, basically, you just use this tool, say a select button tool, and click and drag a select button. OK, I will cover all these uh, one by one. And if you want to select this picker button using this generic edit tool, uh, first you need to activate the edit tool, and you just left mouse button click to select that button. That way, the button is in a wide outline. OK, and you can tweak the parameters here. If you want to uh, select this button, you just hold the Control and Shift key. If you want to, uh, say, toggle one of the button, its selection state, you just use the Shift key and click on it, and click again to select it and shift click again to deselect it, just like what you did to Maya. You can also use the control key to deselect some buttons, right? Um, uh, using this uh, generic edit tool, you are able to move it using the left mouse button dragging and hold the shift key, it will constrain the move axis to horizontal and vertical. 
For now, I will skip all these uh, creating or editing uh, demonstrations. Um, but I want to mention that uh, one very critical thing that is hotkey. Uh, as you may notice, uh, there's a lot of hotkey being set in MGP Studio. So uh, this hotkey is totally separate from the Maya's hotkey. So if I uh, currently active Maya's main window and I have access to Maya's hotkey. But if I middle mouse active this MGPG Studio, uh, it will use the MGPG Studio's hotkey. So some sometimes you find um, you are using the MGPG Studio hotkey but it actually apply to Maya. That means currently the MGPG Studio don't have the focus. Okay. So uh, if I have already select some pick up button, so if I want to um, active this MG pick up studio, you can active the uh, title bar, or you just middle mouse button to press on this uh, pick up area. That way, it won't affect the pick up selection here, but it will activate the uh, pick up studio windows. That way, you can use the hotkey for MG pick up studio.